The call and revelations weren't the only Russia news on Friday. Outgoing House Republicans brought former FBI Director James Comey in for private testimony to discuss such urgent issues as Hillary Clinton's email server, his decision not to prosecute Hillary Clinton, and whether FBI agents working on the case were biased for Hillary Clinton. All pressing concerns that could ruin the political career of bizarro universe President Hillary Clinton. <laughs> And she looks good. She looks good. Real gravitas. Got real gravitas. They also asked Comey about how close he was to Robert Mueller after the president said this. I could give you 100 pictures of Mueller and Comey hugging and kissing each other. Yeah, I saw them all on the internet. There's even one where they're in a four-way with the centaur and Lois from Family Guy. Hot stuff. Comey responded, I'm not aware of any such photograph. I have never hugged or kissed the man. Again, I'm an admirer, but not that kind of admirer. <laughs> Good to know. Wow. Good to know. You can do what are you doing right out there. To recap, James Comey was sworn in to the House Judiciary Committee to answer the pressing question, now, Mr. Comey, can you address the scurrilous accusation? that you and special counsel Muller were found sitting in a tree. Uh, and I want to get this next part correctly. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. I remind you, you are under oath, sir. I remind... I, I, I say, I say, I say. I say, son. They also... They also asked Comey if he thought Trump could stop the Russia probe by firing Mueller. And he said that in order for Trump to really end all the investigations, you'd almost have to fire everyone in the FBI and the Justice Department. <laughs> Don't tell him how to do it. <laughs> I mean, he couldn't blow us all up unless he cut the green wire. <laughs> it's all in Comey's new book, Dictatoring for Dummies. In light of Comey's testimony today, the president tweeted, Democrats can't find a smocking gun <laughs> tying the Trump campaign to Russia after James Comey's testimony. No smocking gun. No collusion. Yeah. Smocking gun. What is a smocking? Now, some say that that's a typo, but today, at a fiery briefing, Deputy Press Secretary Bill Farbla defended the president's tweet. He settled down, settled down. In regards to the Mueller filings, I just want to reiterate what the president tweeted earlier. There is no smocking gun. This investigation is all smock and mirrors. Just 13 angry Democrats spinning lies in smock-filled back rooms. And you can put that in your pipe and smock it. <laughs> now, in terms of smoke, well, there is plenty of that. And we all know where it's coming from. Hell, the whole administration's on fire. Stop, drop, and roll. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go blow smock up the president's ass. We got a great show for you tonight.